Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we are having one very interesting question from Math Olympiad Quadratic Equations. Given equation is x square plus x minus 3 equal to 0, whose roots are x1 and x2. Then we have to evaluate x1 cube minus 4x2 square plus 19. I will demonstrate two different ways to attempt this problem. Let me write here method number 1 and I will call our expression which we have to evaluate. Let us call it is A. And similar expression I will be writing as B just by replacing roots. x2 cube minus 4 x1 square plus 19 I am calling it is B. Now from quadratic equation using Vita's method I can write another two equations the sum of roots and the product of roots. So I will be writing sum of roots x1 plus x2 this value will be minus b over a, so minus 1. First equation, second equation product of roots, x1 times x2, it will be c over a, so c is minus 3, a is 1, so this value will be negative 3. Now I will calculate what will be the value of a plus b, so I need to add both, ok. I will write x1 cube plus x2 cube. Now minus 4 is common. In bracket, I will write x1 square plus x2 square. Then we have 19 plus 19, so plus 38. Now I will apply algebraic formulas. Here I will be applying a cube plus b cube and here I will write in terms of perfect square. Let's write a cube plus b cube, so x1 plus x2 in one bracket. Other bracket, we can write x1 square plus x2 square minus x1 x2, then minus 4 x1 square plus x2 square plus 38. So I can write here x1 plus x2 as it is. Here I will be writing x1 plus x2 whole square. So what I did? I added 2 x1 x2 extra. So I have to compensate. So minus 2 x1 x2 and minus x1 x2. Minus 3 x1 x2. You can check. Expand whole square. x1 square plus x2 square plus 2 x1 x2 minus 3 x1 x2 it will give us minus x1 x2 minus 4 same way here i can write it is x1 plus x2 whole square and then i need to write minus 2 x1 x2 and then plus 38 let's put the value of x1 plus x2 and x1 times x2 so I will write a plus b as a plus b will be x1 plus x2 is minus 1. So I will write here minus 1. Then I will be writing in bracket x1 plus x2 whole square. So minus 1 whole square. Then it is minus 3 x1 x2. So I will write plus 9 directly. Then minus 4. Again in bracket x1 plus x2 whole square. So it is minus 1 whole square. I will write plus 1. Minus 2 times x1 x2. So minus 2 times minus 3 plus 6. And then we have 38. So this value is minus 1. This bracket will give us 10. Minus 4. Bracket will give us 7. Plus 38. So this value will become minus 10 minus 28 plus 38 and this value is 0. Now I will calculate a minus b also. See I will write a minus b. What I will get after that? x1 cube minus x2 cube. Straight away. Then I will be writing plus 4 times. In bracket x1 square minus x2 square 
plus 19 minus 19 will be over so 0. Again I will apply a cube minus b cube identity. So I will write here x1 minus x2 in bracket x1 is square plus x2 is square plus x1 x2. Then I have the difference of two squares identity. I will write x1 plus x2. In other bracket, I will write x1 minus x2. Now x1 minus x2 is overall common. So I will write in the bracket, this will become x1 is square plus x2 is square plus x1 x2. And then I will be writing plus 4 times x1 plus x2. Now I need to write here perfect square. So I will write x1 minus x2 unchanged. Here I will be writing x1 plus x2 whole square. Then minus 2 x1 x2 plus x1 x2 plus 4 times x1 plus x2. Now I will plug in values. Leave x1 minus x2 as it is. This bracket only. Minus 1 is square. 1. Minus 2 times minus 3. Plus 6. x1, x2. Minus 3. 4 times minus 1. So minus 4. Now you can see this is turning into bracket 0. So this value is coming out 0. a plus b is 0. a minus b is 0. Let's write a plus b equal to 0, a minus b equal to 0. I will add both the equation. I will write 2a equal to 0. Conclusion is our required expression a is equal to 0. And this is our method number 1. Now let me consider method number 2. I will calculate roots of this quadratic equation. So I will be writing x equal to or x1 comma x2 equal to apply quadratic formula minus b so minus 1 plus minus under the root b square 1 minus 4ac plus 12 divided by 2a so 2. I will write minus 1 plus minus root 13 divided by 2. So from here I am writing x1 and x2 separately. Let me call with plus sign in between it is x1. So I am writing x1 equal to minus 1 plus root 13 divided by 2. And x2 I am considering minus 1 minus square root 13 divided by 2. Now my target is to find out x1 cube and 4x2 square. Let's calculate. So x1 is minus 1 plus square root 13 over 2. So I will write here twice x1 equal to minus 1 plus root 13. I will write 2x1 plus 1 equal to square root 13. Now I will consider cubing both sides. So let's consider cube. This side also cube. Now a plus b whole cube. a cube so 8x1 cube plus b cube plus 1 plus 3ab, so 6x1, in bracket a plus b which is root 13 and right hand side is root 13 cube, so it is 13 root 13. Now I will write 8x1 cube plus 1 plus 6 root 13 and let's apply the value of x1, this value. So I will write minus 1 plus root 13 
divided by 2. And right hand side is 13 square root 13. Now expand bracket 8x1 cube plus 1 unchanged plus 6 root 13 times minus 1 and divided by 2. So I will be writing here minus 3. Let me write minus 3 root 13. And then it will be 13 times 3, 39 equal to 13 root 13. Now you can see 39 plus 1, 40. So I will write 8x1 cube plus 40. And I will take this minus 3 root 13 to the RHS. So 16 root 13. Equation is divisible by 8. So I will divide. I will write x1 cube plus 5 equal to 2 times root 13. And if I will calculate x1 cube plus 19, so that would be better. So let me write here x1 cube plus 19. So this value will come out 2 root 13 plus 14. This is our this expression calculation. Now I will write our second equation, second x2 value. So x2 was minus 1 minus root 13 divided by 2. Now I will cross multiply. I will write twice x2 equal to minus I will take common 1 plus square root 13. Now we have to calculate minus 4 x2 square. Okay. Consider squaring both sides. So I will write power 2. And this side also I will write power 2. So left hand side we are getting what we required 4x2 square. Right hand side minus 1 square is plus 1. So it will be now plus. Now a plus b whole square. a square plus root 13 square 13 plus 2 times root 13. So 4x2 square equal to 14 plus 2 times root 13. You can see here it is 2 times root 13 plus 14. It is 2 times root 13 plus 14 and in between sign is minus. So let us calculate. Now we have to write the value of x1 cube minus 4x2 square plus 19 value. Let me write here x1 cube plus 19 in this way minus 4 x2 square. Now let's plug in the values. So this value is twice square root 13 plus 14 and minus 4 x2 square is straight away 2 root 13 plus 14. So both brackets we can cancel like this. So our final answer becomes 0. And this brings the end of this video. I hope you will like this video friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.